New solo agency god mode glitch, let's begin. Bookmark the two jobs that are in the description and restart your GTA. If you don't want to spend hours grinding heists and glitches, then check out Zerdiax.net. Zerdiax offers fast delivery modded accounts and account boosting for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Ranging from 10 million to 750 million dollars, as well as RP level 120 and more. With great prices and highly rated reviews, you can't go wrong with Zerdiax. Treat yourself today with a GTA modded service from Zerdiax. The link will be down in the description below. Now go to your interaction menu and turn the jobs on so that way you can see the job blip on the ground here. And what we're going to do is just simply go onto the blip. Also make sure that you're on fidelity mode whenever you're doing this glitch. You can turn it back on performance max later. But right now we need it on fidelity mode. Pretty much we're trying to slow the game down as much as possible. Open up your pause menu, go to the online tab, playlists, my bookmarked playlists, and you should see one that's called Agency GM. You're going to tap X on that once. It's going to bring up this alert right here. Now we're going to start spamming right on the D-pad, and whenever you're ready, you're going to accept this alert while still spamming right on the D-pad. You can stop spamming around the d-pad whenever you've made it inside the clouds. One of two things will happen. You'll get an alert saying that the job has failed to load. That means that you need to try again. Or you'll get loaded into a job. If you get loaded into a job, then that means that you've done the glitch correctly. Now you can go inside the agency. Now whenever you're inside the agency, you should see a white job just like how I see in the video. Now go into first person and slowly inch up to this assistance desk. Be careful not to touch the job just yet because if you touch the job, you'll get instantly loaded into a job and that's not what we want. Inch up to it, get as far away from the table as you can while still having access to that assistance menu. So once you've set that up, you're going to look where I do in the video, just slightly to the right, because as soon as we enter this job blip, it's going to load us into a job, and we need as much time as possible to do something else before we enter that job. Hopefully this makes sense later, but just look to the right where I do in the video. And now listen to this part very carefully. What we're going to do is use your L3 stick to move forward, sprint at the same time, or if you have auto sprint on, that'll work as well. Anyways, we're going to sprint, and as soon as you see your character moving, you're going to press right on the D-pad, click up on the D-pad once, so that way you can go to that SUV menu, and then you're going to double tap X so you can enter the SUV surface. So I'm going to put in slow motion for you guys. We're going to sprint. As soon as you see your character moving, you're going to press right on the D-pad to get onto that assistance desk menu. You're going to press up on the D-pad once, and then you're going to click SUV service twice. If you fail the attempt, you're going to open up your contacts and you're going to call Simeon or any other NPC for a job. You're going to then join the job that they give you and then just back out. And then you can repeat the glitch from the beginning where you go back outside and do that job lip thing with the playlist. If you've had a successful attempt, you'll get put inside this animation. And during this animation, you should be able to pull out your phones. Press up on the D-pad. If you're able to pull out your phone, then it's most likely going to be a successful attempt. If you don't, it's going to be another fail attempt. So just call an NPC for a job, join the job, leave the job, and start again from the beginning. But that's the whole glitch, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my website, zerdiax.net. Link will be in the description. Get yourself some GTA Online modded services, modded accounts, account boosts, etc. I'm sure there's something there that you'd like. But that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.